from campus and the amount of looks I got it's a Sunday and I still got looks people look at me like oh. and then I got to like the editing room to do my work and the first thing I see is oh my god let me touch it because I never really rocked my hair this like this out like this especially because I had braids recently so everyone's used to seeing it just calm no everyone was just like Oh my god, and they're like, no, don't touch it, stop, no, but did they listen? No. Anyways, this is, yeah, this is how I did it. I don't usually do it like this. First I'm actually slicking it up and pinning it with bobby pins, so it's cool. And I was thinking, someone asked me about doing a twist out. I usually don't do twist outs, I usually do like flat twists or something, or braid out because my hair doesn't really like twists that much but maybe because when I first did it it was really short and it was not staying the twist wasn't staying but when I did my recent braid out I mean not braid out flat twists the other day which I'll probably show a picture the curls were quite defined which was quite nice so I thought because I experimented with some defining custard that I got from Kira Care that I won from Kira Care my little raffle and some gel and stuff so this time I'll actually try it with product before I just used oil and hope for the best yeah so I'll try that out and we'll see what the results actually look like so let me start off by let's see how different it is now Oh, to what it looked like in my last video. See, now it's all standing up. Check my earrings. Child of Africa. If you can see the amount of hair just coming up my head. Okay. I usually like to section off the back first and work my way up. Or round, for that sake, so I usually work round. Anyways. I like to use olive oil on my hair, so I use some of that, but I keep in a bowl. <laughs> if my mum knew I use her bowls for my hair, hey, she would cuss me. So, oil look. The back of my hair doesn't like to stretch like the bounce. This time I'll do it. I usually just part the back in two, but then I find that it leaves a gap, so I might do three today. Just trying new things. I don't know how it's going to turn. So I'll start off with my Kira Care Natural Textures. If you can see, sorry, my MacBook is flipped around. But yeah. I can open it, my hands are oily. It's all gooey. Ew. Tangle it a bit more with this kind. Yeah. Way too small. We'll see how it turns out. I can never open this. My hands are really slippery. Eco Styler, olive oil. That I can't open. Where's my towel? Oh, don't know. Okay. Oh, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Is the lighting okay? Don't know. I use the lid because it has stuff on it, so I get some of that. 
put it in my hair work it through when my hair was setting last time I did it like this it was really hard like the twists were like but when you take them out with your hands full of oil and stuff it's nice and soft after so I think the trick is not to grab any extra hair that reduces frizz two sections let's try and part it evenly and then a twist it's gonna be some really tight twist tight curve it looks like and then I get to the end and add some more gel a little bit more and twist it around three sections at the back. See, I like to have my hair to a side. I don't know what side today. I think today's this side. Usually, it doesn't really matter. But when I have twist outs or like braid outs or something, it's usually to the this like this. facing towards my eye because I like it to cover my face so therefore I make sure that they all end up going in that direction done now I'm just gonna leave it in until tomorrow morning and take it out and we'll see the results. Morning! Um, yeah, I'm not feeling very great this morning. <laughs> Bit sick, but um, let me do this video anyway. So I slept with my satin bunny cap. Just took it off. And let's see how these twists turn out. So what I do is use some olive oil in my hand. And then start taking them out. Basically unraveling them. Try not to separate the curls just yes, yet. So here I'm just separating each curl so that it's a bit bigger, a bit fuller. just using the comb to fluff it out a bit giving it a bit more volume I'm not really a fan of the way it lays on both sides to be honest so I usually just get some eco styler and just slick up one of the sides mm -hmm. 